What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video and recently I've been getting some messages from new and returning players asking me what is one of my favorite all around builds, you know something that's balanced, good for solo or group and it really got me thinking to a build I used to run back in the day, an old school rifle AR build and that's exactly what I wanted to share with you today. Now, if you happen to be new here, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, do me a favor, my friends, hit that like button. It really does help us out. So one of the things I mention at the beginning of every build video I put together is I always want to remind you that this is just a template. This is one of so many different ways you can put a build together. And with that being said, one of the most important factors is anytime you're putting something together, you want to focus on the game style that you're looking to achieve. So with that being said, you want to make sure you try out different variations. Do not just copy and paste, try out different things and really put something together that works best for you. As always, I'm starting off with a little bit of gameplay, then we're going to get into the build itself, and then some more footage at the end. At that point, I'll also give a few tips to new and returning players to try to help out. Now, one thing I want to mention, and I have no problem saying this whatsoever, is my aim with an assault rifle right now is absolutely terrible, and that's because I've been primarily using the Scorpio for the last nine months, and the only reason I bring this up is because even if you have aim like me, which is equivalent right now to a drunken sailor, you can still get the job done with this build. Again, solo or in a group, once you get used to it, you can see the amount of damage it puts out. And not only that, you'll notice that some of the gear I have equipped is not maxed out. And the reason why I want to highlight that is for new and returning players to remind you that even though the gear isn't perfect, you can still put something together to get the job done. So starting off with the specialization, I'm using Sharpshooter for a bunch of different reasons. You're going to get extra stability, you're going to get extra headshot damage, you can see here that you're going to get extra armor when you're in cover, and regardless of which specialization you choose, make sure you have the proper weapons activated in your weapon skill tree, that way you're going to get that 15% weapon damage bonus for both your primary and secondary weapon. You can see my primary is the Carbine 7 Assault Rifle, now if you don't have this, any assault rifle here is fine. To be honest with you, I've been trying to get a decent version of this for a long time. A God Rolled version just dropped, and that's exactly why I'm putting it in today's build. Now, I've chosen the Talent Ranger for this weapon because wherever you are in proximity to NPCs, you're going to get that weapon damage bonus. However, there are a lot of different options you can choose. I know a popular one is Optimist, so again, try different ones out and see which works best for you. My secondary weapon is the Classic M1A, which I absolutely love, and for this, I have the Talent Boomer where critical hits have a 50% chance to return the bullet to the magazine. If a bullet is returned to the magazine, the next shot has a 40% increased damage bonus. For my sidearm, I have a TDI card equipped with the talent close and personal, but honestly, I really don't touch it with this build. Now moving on to the gear, you can see I have three Providence, one Grupo, one Petrov, and one Overlord. Starting off with the mask, it's the first piece of Providence we have equipped, so we get all of the gear set bonuses, which are, as you can see, 15% headshot damage, 10% crit hit chance, and 15% crit hit damage. Moving on to the body armor, it's the one piece of Grupo equipped, so we get that extra 15% critical hit damage bonus. Now, you do have the option of running, you know, let's say a piece of Fenris if you're going to be primarily using the assault rifle all the time. However, I kind of bounce between the two, so therefore for me, this was a better option. Now this again is one of those pieces where you have a lot of options in regards to the talent. You can see I've chosen Overwatch. After staying in cover for 10 seconds, it increases you and your allies total weapon and skill damage by 12% as long as you remain in cover or in a cover to cover move. Now if you happen to have the name Fenris chess piece Ferocious Calm, I recommend equipping that because you're going to get that AR damage bonus, you're also going to have the talent perfect Overwatch. However, for this build I wanted to make sure I highlighted gear that most people have. Now when it comes to the talent, again you have different options. I know a really popular one is Glass Cannon. There's also Headhunter. So again, try different things out my friends. 
Next, we have the holster, which is our second piece of providence. And in all of these pieces, I'm really trying to stack crit hit chance and crit hit damage everywhere I can. Moving on to the knee pads, it's the one piece of overlord. I love these. They're the named fox's prayer, and they're absolute monsters. Now, the reason why these knee pads are so popular for so many different types of builds out there is because of that 8% damage to targets out of cover bonus. Now, as we move on to the gloves, they are the one piece of Petrov we have equipped, and with these, you get an 8% damage to armor bonus and in conjunction my friends it puts out so much extra damage now if you don't have either of these pieces one recommendation I can give is using a piece of Fenris and one Walker and Harris or you can use two Walker and Harris and get two of those gear set bonuses finally my friends we have the backpack it's the third and final piece of Providence and as you can see I'm using the talent vigilance once again this is one of those pieces where you have a lot of options to choose from if you have the named version of this bag the gift you can use that you can also use a piece of providence that has you know composure on it that's going to give you an extra weapon damage increase when you're in cover which works with your chest so again try out different things as far as my skills are concerned i'm using the assault drone and the assault turret because they're great distractions to npcs and they put out damage now if you're getting used to let's say a build like this you're just starting off you may want to use the reviver hive as one of your skills it's really up to you now as far as my stats go you can see i'm sitting at 59 percent critical hit chance remember the max is 60% and my crit hit damage is at 135 and I know that can be higher but again this just gives you an idea of the type of damage you can put out with a build like this and as I start to wrap this video up one thing I recommend to new and returning players is when you're trying out a new build go to a mission or control point anything in the game that you're familiar with so you can truly see how the build responds to your gameplay the reason why that's so beneficial at least in my opinion is because that's how you can truly determine how the build is going to respond so at that point you can figure out if you want more armor more weapon damage a different talent on the chest or bag whatever it is you can make that decision at that point most of you know by now that one of my favorite aspects about putting these build videos together is the community we have at the channel. So as always, if you have any tips or tricks you want to pass along to new and returning players, please let me know in the comment section down below. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Data analysis lab is just ahead. See what data you can grab for Kelso. Data transfer initiated.